At this point, this is no longer my story. It's just a story. It's not what's wrong, it's what happened. I am simply a product of my knowledge, training, and experiences. Growth is a lifelong process, and there is not a magic pill, and we must learn to struggle well on our path through life. Life is not hard, it's just hard work. I'm Ryan, and to some, my name is just that. But to others, I am husband, father, brother, friend, explorer, motorcycle rider, homeschool, and Chief Mass Art McClary. Measuring outward appearances, it may appear I have little to be unhappy about. I have a loving family, supportive friends, and an exciting Air Force civil engineer career. Yet I struggle with anxiety, depression, and suicide. For years, I thought these resulted from a moral failing or a brain disease. But the more I learn, the more I realize these feelings, thoughts, and condition are primarily a reaction to how we live. The cause of my struggle was not any singular thing or life event. Rather, life's day-to-day -day grind slowly robbed me of purpose and connectedness to something beyond myself. A perfect storm of stressors and emotional pain became so all-encompassing that I believed I would be stuck in this state of mind forever, and I just wanted to escape. At one point, I believed that my only reason for living was my daughter, and she represented my only hope for the future. It was then I knew I had to do something different. After initially failing to get the care I needed, I leaned on two good friends. They encouraged me to reach out to the Warrior Path program designed by Boulder Crest Institute. Taking their advice, I applied and was accepted into the program. Then, I reached out to my commander for help with work-related issues and to support my program attendance. That program finally set me on a path to receive the support I needed to keep going, to struggle well. I found that path because of those friends, two people who years prior had forged a relationship built on trust. Ultimately, it was because of those two friends that I'm here today. We remain connected and continue to support each other through life celebrations and disappointments while we struggle well. I share this story to let you know we all struggle despite outward appearance. We are all human. None of us have the same story. While some struggle with mental health challenges like I do, all of us struggle in our own way. We must do more than talk to build hope. We must connect with those around us to build trust. I encourage all airmen, from the director of civil engineers to the most recent technical training graduate, to lead with vulnerability and create relationships based on honesty with empathy for your fellow travelers. Our honesty of past struggles demonstrates humanity, not weakness, and will build trust with each audience. At our core, we all want the same thing, to be seen, heard, and valued. Finally, remember, the most powerful gift that you have to offer is to listen deeply. You are never alone. We are all in this together.